All right. Welcome back, everybody, to Altcoin Daily, where you subscribe for daily videos on everything that's going on in the space today. We'll talk about it. I'm going to clue you in, share with you data, share with you metrics. Normally, you wouldn't see this unless you were a subscriber to this channel. So with that being said, like the video. And let's start with the breaking news of January 2021. I mean, this news is happening in the first week of the new year. The largest banking regulator in the United States, I'm talking, of course, about the United States Office of Comptroller of the Currency. This organization works hand in hand with the United States Treasury, has just clarified cryptocurrency regulations in 2021. TLDR, U.S. banks are now clear to use public blockchains and dollar stablecoins as a settlement infrastructure in the United States financial system. This is a huge win for cryptocurrency and stablecoins. This is the official statement on their website. And for more information on just exactly what is this, how is this going to help crypto payments in the mainstream? Let's talk about this. Let's find out some details. In brief, I want you to understand three points from this story. Number one, the OCC, yes, they're an independent bureau, but make no mistake about it, this is coming right from the top. They are a part of the US Treasury. Number two, the exact guidance that they're issuing they say that banks may now use blockchains and stablecoins to facilitate payment. And number three, this is so pro crypto that the OCC has actually come under a little bit of scrutiny from their peers for just how pro crypto this is. So for the exact wording and the exact terminology of the statements that they released, this is a direct quote. A national bank or federal savings association may validate, store, and record payment transactions by serving as a node on an INVN, an independent node verification network. So let's just say node for short. Likewise, a bank may use a node and related stable coins to carry out permissible payment activities. The acting comptroller of currency, Brian Brooks, a former Coinbase exec, indicated in the press release that this move is about leveraging the cryptocurrency industry to keep pace. Quote, while governments in other countries have built real-time payments systems, the United States has relied on our innovation sector to deliver real-time payment technology. So they're saying, guys, let's innovate this thing. Let's keep on pace with other countries. And the OCC's letter makes this very clear. They specifically note, as financial intermediaries, banks face competition to move funds faster. In the eyes of the OCC, INVNs, such as blockchains and other distributed ledger technologies, are a way of efficiently and speedily moving funds. Moreover, the letter states that banks may issue stable coins as they might debit cards or checks and exchange them for fiat. I mean, the OCC makes all this sound, all of this sound pretty hunky dory. Quote, banks have long used cashier's checks, traveler's checks, and other bearer instruments as a means of facilitating cashless payments and blockchain, distributed ledger tech, Bitcoin. It's just the logical next step. So this is a huge win for cryptocurrency. This is a huge win for stablecoins. And to put a final point in this before we talk about some on-chain metrics that are looking incredibly bullish, before we get to that, let's find out what the CEO of CirclePay has to say about all this. I mean, CirclePay has USDC. It's an Ethereum-based stablecoin just partnered with Visa if there's one gentleman in the cryptocurrency space who can clue us in as to exactly what this means, it's this guy right here. So let's find out. 
This is a huge win for cryptocurrency and stablecoins like USDC. The new interpretive letter establishes that banks can treat public chains as infrastructure similar to SWIFT, ACH, and Fedwire, and stablecoins like USDC as electronic stores of value. The significance of this can't be understated. Decentralized, permissionless, open source, and internet mediated software is literally becoming the foundation for not just the US financial system, but for the global economy. We are on a path towards all major economic activities being executed on chain. It is tremendous to see such forward thinking support from the largest regulator of national banks in the United States. This paves the way for the use of leading digital dollar currencies such as USDC as a mainstream payments medium for all forms of payment and settlement and helps put the US in a leadership position in embracing the power of public blockchains. Beyond payments and settlements, and unlike legacy settlement mediums, public chains combine transactions and computer power enabling a radically new mode of finance and commerce apps to be built. It also sets the stage for more regulated financial institutions to run blockchain nodes and even become validators. Hey, real quick guys, sorry to interrupt. I wanted to take 60 seconds to thank our sponsor, blockfi.com backslash altcoin daily or use the link in the description just click through the link. You don't have to sign up right away. Just check it out. But if you do use the link, you can get up to $250 in free crypto as a sign-up bonus if you deposit $25 or more in crypto. So put your crypto to work. If you have Bitcoin, if you have Ethereum, Litecoin, stable coins, and they're just sitting there and you want to earn interest, why not earn interest with BlockFi. This is the payout structure. No minimum is required to earn interest. They also offer other services. For instance, you can buy cryptocurrency with cash. You can get crypto backed loans. You can trade your cryptocurrency, buy, sell, trade, all with your BlockFi account. This company is backed by some of the biggest names in the business, Coinbase, Morgan Creek, Galaxy Digital, the Winklevi. So, BlockFi.com backslash altcoin daily or use the link in the description below. Why not take a portion of your crypto and start earning interest? Make no mistake about this. This is a huge way to start 2021, the year that cryptocurrency and stable coins go to mass market. In fact, it was because of these regulations right here or because of this letter probably why we're still seeing seriously strong spot Bitcoin buying at $30,000. Probably how we saw Bitcoin go from 20,000 to 30,000 like that, breaking past its channel and yet not being overbought on on-chain fundamentals. This is huge news. Congrats to Circle. And now JP Morgan is even putting out headlines like this. JP Morgan says that Bitcoin could rise to $146,000 long term as it competes with gold. I mean, we are early, guys. Let's talk about how early we are. And we're going to talk about some other on chain metrics. But to, I mean, understand how early we are. You think we're late? We're early. January 2021, there are about 137 million Bitcoin users. That's about 0.11 Bitcoin per person. In four years, there'll be an estimated 1 billion users. That's about 0.016 Bitcoin per person. At full global adoption, we'll have 8 billion plus users. That's 0.002 Bitcoin per person. This is how early we are. And something we've suspected for a long time, I've been saying we're in a bull market. It's obvious now. But this metric is exactly one of the leading bull market indicators. Bitcoin active addresses near all-time highs going into 2021 on January 3rd. 
the seven-day moving average reached 1.15 million, just shy of the all-time high of 1.18 million set at all-time highs in 2017. This is hugely bullish. And to finish things up, let's talk about let's talk about buyers of both Bitcoin and Ethereum. This is just the facts. For both Bitcoin and ETH, the story is simple. Mid-tier hodlers are taking profits, but top-tier whales are not. And in crypto, it's the whale's playground. Since last week, 57 new 1,000 Bitcoin addresses were made and 17 new 10,000 ETH addresses were made. So this is definitely not the last we'll be hearing about Bitcoin and Ethereum. And I guess I wanted to point out this pretty cool resource. It's fees.watch, and it gives you a second-by-second -second snapshot of fees on Bitcoin and fees on ETH, and you can even set notifications to, hey, if the fees are low, remind me. So that's pretty cool. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Starting off 2021, unbelievably bullish. The fact that Bitcoin is still over $30,000 today. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.